Hi, I'm James and I'm here to talk to you about this, Speak. Written by Louisa Hall and published in the UK by Orbit in 2015, is the story of the creation and the impact of an artificial intelligence program called Mary 3, told through the stories of the people most influential in its creation. So there I was, properly angry that I'd just read Angel 4, that review's coming, believe me, and I needed a palate cleanser. So off I go to the local Waterstones, because, well, of course I do, just looking for a good book to read. There I am in the science fiction section, as always, and there I see this cover. And damn, is that a fine cover. And what's this? Emily St. John Mandel likes it. She loves it, in fact. Sold. Long story short, this was a cover buy, and god damn, was it worth it. Speak isn't set out like a standard novel. It's presented as five individual stories of the people that have had an impact on shaping the Mary 3 AI program. There is a sixth story too, in a sense, but it's more of a framing device, as Mary 3 chronicles her last journey to a storage warehouse where it's doomed to power down and be forgotten after it's been banned. The way that Louisa Hall has chosen to present her story is unorthodox to say the least, and at first I wasn't too sure what the point was of splitting up the stories the way they have been. Each chapter focuses on a different one of the five stories, so we get them sort of delivered to us piecemeal throughout the book. After thinking about it for a while though, I realised that it was actually another genius way of presenting the idea of the fragmented nature of memory, and from an entertainment point of view it really helped to keep things fresh and engaging, as we aren't bogged down in one particular story for too long. There isn't really a plot. I mean, don't get me wrong, that isn't really a criticism. Like all my favourite sci-fi, Speak is more about the ideas and the exploration of those ideas, rather than the A to B events that go in the story. That said, Hall does do a great job of driving the story forward in an indirect way. Through the presentation of the stories of the individuals that aided in the formation of Mary 3, we really do get a sense of a wider story and a timeline for the events that are really only ever really touched on. I really appreciate that the story isn't just spelled out for you in clunky dialogue, there's basically no dialogue at all, but actually it requires you to pay some real attention to what's happening and the little details to fully appreciate what's happening. You don't have to be Sherlock Holmes to understand it, but if you're putting the pieces together and trying to puzzle things out for yourself, you're going to get a lot more out of it. There are five, no, wait, six. Well, okay, seven. I guess there's seven major characters that Speak follows. Mary Bradford, a pilgrim girl travelling across the sea from England to America. Alan Turing, the world's foremost Benedict Cumberbatch impersonator, a man credited with inventing the first ever computer. Ruth and Carl Detman, a married couple that invented Mary, and Mary II, the earliest form of an AI program. Stephen Chin, the inventor of Mary III. Gabby White, a young girl living in a near catatonic state following the ban of AIs. And of course, there's Mary III herself. Save for Doctor Strange, all of these characters are fictional, but Louisa Hall has done an amazing job of making all of them sympathetic and flawed to such a degree that having Alan Turing knocking about doesn't actually stick out like a sore thumb. Even the brief glimpses we get of Mary III trapped in a cargo container give us a great sense of what it is as an entity, even though it really isn't a person at all, more of an amalgamation of all the others. What Hall does that really blew me away was give us a great sense of who these characters are, even though we never really see them interact with anyone else. When I got to the end, I really felt like I knew these people, which is really the highest praise I could give. I touched on this one a bit earlier, and there's not really a lot to say about it on its own, but the way that Hall has paced this book is perfect. Chopping the stories of the characters up into smaller segments was a great way to keep me engaged, because due to the isolated nature of the characters and their stories, there was a risk that being stuck inside one of the characters' heads for too long could get a little bit tedious. Thankfully, Louisa Hall is a smart cookie and artfully avoided that outcome. I was gripped from page one, and the growing sense of doom towards the end of the book pulled me right through to the end. It's one of those stories where you know something dire has happened right from the start, and now you're just watching and waiting to see exactly what and when. Speak is easily worthy of winning my arbitrary star award. The concept is just such a unique one. We've seen stories about AI all over science fiction in books, TV and movies, but I've not come across one yet before that really tells us the story from the AI's point of view and invites us to really make up our own mind about the situation. 
It's an in-depth, well-rounded and compelling book that has just ticked every single box for me. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to discuss your opinions on the book, please let me know in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, go ahead and subscribe. Go on, it's Christmas. Treat yourself. See you next time.